What's up, YouTube? It's Mark here from Next Level Tech and AndroidTV.tips. And today, I almost knocked over my drink. <laughs> and today, I've been struggling all day to come out with a video for you guys. I've been trying to drop five videos a week. Um, and unfortunately, some days of the week, I have to push one out. I would show you guys a method to speed up these devices that was brought to us by TDUK. So shout out to TDUK. Um, it's an awesome, awesome creator, um, an awesome guy in the streaming community. Uh, he's also been on the Beyond the Streams podcast with us. So if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a card in the, in the top right of this video right here. But he's come out uh, with the help of Sweenwolf. Uh, to create an application that speeds up these devices. Now guys, before we dive into it, just make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe, and check the description down below for all the latest in regards to the promotion codes. NordVPN's got a promotion on right now, 73% off, as well as four free months when you sign up. Uh, it's the VPN that I've been using for the past four or five years, and I've been happy with them. Uh, they have a built-in ad blocker, as well as the ability to use the uh, ad guard DNS inside the application if you wanted to, so it's, it's worked really well, especially when it comes to a lot of these streaming applications with all the advertisements that they can have inside of them the built-in ad blocker for nordvpn has worked very very well as well as make sure you join the telegram group we have close to 2200 members in the telegram group information content um new releases are always shared in the group and it's a lot easier to you know answer your questions in the community versus on youtube so we're gonna dive into it guys so tduk has come out with um an application that helps you speed up the device so i've created a couple short codes so that we can get right into it all right so the short code that i've created so you're going to want to grab downloader so in downloader we're going to put in five six two one six We're going to install the change animation speed. Now, for any of you guys who are fluent in Android, a lot of us go into the developer options inside there and change the animation speeds on our phone so that it runs faster. So now this, the way that it works is that there's two applications. There's one that you would install on another device that has Android, I think six or above. So your phones, another Android box, whatever, doesn't matter. And you would connect to this fire stick from there so i have an emulator running on my pc right now i'm going to switch over to there all right so i'm in my android emulator on my pc and i'm opening up a browser just to show you that um, i'm gonna make this a short code so you're gonna type in aftv.news slash 16624 open it up and this is what it's going to look like it's going to ask you to enter the fire tv ip address now where do we get that let's jump back over to our fire stick and find out all right so first thing for this process to work you need to make sure that your adb is turned on uh we've already installed it so you can go ahead and delete this application so let's go back to our settings of our device So we're going to go to my fire tv developer options make sure your adb debugging is turned on for this to work uh, by default it's turned off so we're going to turn it on now where do you get your ip address for your fire tv device that it's asking for here now right here at the top you can see you can get it from going to your settings my fire tv about and network so let's go there there's about and here's network right so you're gonna type in what it says your ip address is there so it's one now it's gonna be different depending on your device so you don't even have to look at mine all right so once you've typed in whatever's in your ip address area there into the application here you're gonna click on connect you're gonna click on set up tduk speed and you can, we'll switch back over to the fire stick. It's going to automatically open this window. Now, these are all set to zero. 
if you do use a mouse toggle it is recommended to use something like 0.5 or something like that i don't use a mouse toggle in any of my devices so i'm cool and we're going to save the values values saved successfully now the only time you're going to see a difference is when you actually restart the device so right now you can see how it's acting it's not bad it really isn't but let's go ahead and restart now i'm restarting by hitting the pause play button as well as the big circle okay button and there we go, we're all restarted guys. So let's just see how the navigation is. And you can see that it is slightly faster. You can see that the animations when you're switching between stuff is not there. And it doesn't look as sluggish when you're navigating the actual device. Now this is something you can try out if you like it, if it works for you, cool. Let me know down below if you can tell the difference by using TDUK's Speed and APK. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. It's been Mark from Next Level Tech, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey, everybody. Uh, just before we get going, I wanted to say a huge thank you, much love, and appreciation to everyone who supports what I do over here on Next Level Tech. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and share these videos with a family member and friend.